This meter takes an incredible journey from raw material to finished goods. I think you'd be amazed to see this process. So come with me and let's take a look. It all starts here at the receiving dock of H. Kramer & Company on the south side of Chicago. They collect scrap brass from all over, copper, tin, zinc, and they melt it down to make this the most recognizable part of our water meter, the brass body. You can see what they've got here. They melt down old candlesticks, water meters, car radiators, even musical instruments, all to make this water meter. Wisconsin at the Fall River Foundry, where the brass ingot made by Kramer gets turned into a finished water meter casting. And it all starts in this 2,500 degree furnace. So Fall River mixes up our custom recipe for brass. When the mixture is just right, it's time to transfer the molten brass to another furnace so it can be poured into molds made of tightly packed silica sand. The molds have a top, a bottom, and a spacer that represents the hollow core of the meter. The molten brass will flow into the hollow cavity and around the spacer forming our meter. After they've cooled, those molds go through a machine that breaks up the silica sand and reveals a very rough casting of our brass body. After a little bit of cleanup, they're ready for the next step. And now we're on the south side of Milwaukee at Fall River Manufacturing, where in a highly automated process, they'll take this rough casting and turn it into a finished machine casting, ready to be made into a water meter. Each of these machines has a specific job, from machining the surface for the actual register to threading the ends. They drill and tap for the bottom bolts and even perform a leak test to ensure they are 100% defect free. The next part of our story starts here in Nogales, Mexico, where the water meters are assembled and tested. Here in Nogales, there are three key functions. One is to assemble the critical measuring element, place it inside the meter, close it up, and check its accuracy with a flow test. Second, in the injection molding area, we produce the plastic gears and other components that are assembled into the water meter register. Once all the pieces have been molded, we're ready for assembly. These ladies carefully place the gears into each register, along with the familiar number wheel. When the process is completed, the components are assembled, and voila, we have a finished water meter. And from here, these meters are shipped to municipalities all over the world. So that's the story of the Model 25 water meter. It's taken an incredible journey from skids of scrap to a finished meter. And it's amazing how many locations and hands were involved in making this a Badger meter. <laughs>